presidential candidate makes a stop in northwest Arkansas as part of their campaign trail. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Crystal Martinez. Beto O'Rourke is out of the Lone Star State and in the natural state today. Our Fox 24's Andrew Epperson attended the rally at the Razorback Gardens and tells us what O'Rourke had to say to the crowd. Yeah, Crystal, Beto O'Rourke is a Democratic presidential candidate from El Paso, Texas, but he sure knew how to charm the Razorback crowd that was gathered here at the gardens earlier this afternoon. The topics of his speech geared toward his policy for the 2020 election. Democratic presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke stopped in Fayetteville Sunday speaking to hundreds at the University of Arkansas campus. And we have got to get Tom Cotton out of here. Sporting a red Razorback cap, O'Rourke and those in attendance called the hogs before getting down to business. These are human problems that human beings like you and me can solve together. And I think we've got to commit to doing that. O'Rourke hit on health care and gun violence during his speech, which lasted about half an hour. He criticized President Donald Trump's rhetoric concerning minorities. Let us not fool ourselves. What Donald Trump is giving voice to, what he is inviting into this country right now and into our public life, does not just offend our sensibilities, though it does. Some in attendance didn't agree with O'Rourke's opinions. I heard a lot of crap that I don't believe in. I mean, I mean, connecting El Paso to Nolan Richardson was the silliest thing I've ever heard. O'Rourke discussed his solutions to the student loan crisis. He says debt forgiveness for those who perform a public service is a key element in his policy. He says the same applies for those who decide not to go to a traditional four-year school. I want to make sure that if you want to join an apprenticeship, become a carpenter or an electrician or a plumber, you can move on that career path as well, and we elevate the power of unions in Arkansas and across this country. So let's make sure everyone in America can succeed. O'Rourke also says he's for universal background checks and red flag laws when we're talking about gun ownership. He says that's important for the state and the country. After this stop, O'Rourke headed west to Tulsa for his next rally in Fayetteville. Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.